All right, guys, so just a quick update. I just wired in the uh, boost control solenoid. When I say wired in, I mean actually just plumbed in. I uh, still got to do the wiring. So it's going all the way down there, right to the uh, actual wastegates. Fuel system is all done up here, all connected. Uh, you guys. It's not really much to see when it comes to the actual wastegate, but um, you can see. You know, I'm going to show you guys. Hold on one second. So all the vacuum lines are uh, basically hooked up and they're going avoiding the headers as much as possible because I know heat's going to be a big issue with this. So i got nothing touching any headers or any piping just to make it safe. So that side's done and then um, I'm going to show you guys where I'm at on the actual fuel system as well. So the basket needed some work to be done on it. So here I have the actual basket with a quick connect hooked up on it and also we have the, we, we tapped a hole and then set up a drain fitting here so this is where the uh, overflow from the surge tank is going to drain back into the stock basket i'm just waiting on an aeroflow uh, fuel pump that's coming in soon so, that's so i can pop that in there and then we can put that into the actual uh back seat and then uh i have to make one more fitting i ordered this piece of shit but this is for a hose end and i need the one for uh uh, Teflon line, so I'm just waiting for a 90 degree fitting for that and then we got to do the electrical on the fuel pump and Then this is gonna be a big project here. I got to figure out what I'm doing for a catch can This is the catch can I'm gonna be running, but it only has two ports on it We're contemplating running possibly four ports So I'm gonna have to weld in two more bungs here uh, with ports and they might have to do lines too But this is what came with it when I bought it We're gonna be draining back into the oil pan and then this just has the filter that goes on top like that but I am thinking about instead of running uh, four ports in the catch can, I am also playing with the idea of simply uh, running the four ports into like a T fitting so that we can just run one uh, on each side and not have to run. Let me just get this engine harness out of the way here. So essentially you have your PCV valve, which is right that white one right there. We have one port here, we have one port here. We have a big 5 8 port right there in the back, which uses this hose right here. So essentially all four of those need to be routed into that catch can you saw there. And then down here, if you look on the top of the oil pan right the back there, we have a fitting. And that's where the catch can is going to drain into. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I also ordered all new lines for the oil cooler. and Because I it was, last year when I had the supercharger set up, I ran... Um, a oil cooler with um, a thermostatic switch in between the lines, which is uh, like just caused having more lines. It's a big headache. So now I actually got a regular thermostatic sandwich plate, and we're gonna run new lines directly to the cooler. And this time I'm gonna have like proper length lines and everything, so no worry about like chafing or anything like that. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Give you guys an update shortly. Okay, so looks like the um, <clears throat> new filter came in from AEM and the Racetronics bracket fit right around it. I just got to mount it up obviously, but everything's good to go. Last line, I just got to finish right here, this 90 degree line. Just waiting for the fitting to come in, should be here very soon. And then that's it. The fuel system's done plumbing wise and I uh, just got to hook up the actual power connections. I can't believe this has come together. This is something that like I envisioned in my head and we've just put it together piece by piece, line by line, fitting by fitting. and. Here it is. That's friggin' crazy. I know it could be a cleaner, fancier install, but this shit ain't about looking pretty. It's about going fast. So we're going to have some fun with this when it's done. I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. Just a quick update. So we're just putting together the catch can here and uh, doing all custom lines from Racetronics, lines and fittings. So what we're doing is I'm going to have this catch can here mounted right up at the front of the engine right about here. And it's going to be dash 10 coming out of the side of the catch can here going into an adapter. And I cut the OEM rubber hose in half so that the 5 8 port at the back can mount right there. And then we have, of course, as you know, if you know the VQ35, you know that there's two half inch ports, one here and one here. So I'm going to have rubber lines coming off of those going this way and one going around that way. And I'm going to have two dash 8 AN ports welded in the front for those. And then finally, we have a dash 8 AN over here, which is adapted down from a dash 10. And uh, I have a replacement fitting coming in, should be here Monday, to replace the PCV so that this way it's not connected to the intake system at all and it's completely separated and it'll be taking the oil out and draining it down to the oil pan and letting the fumes out of the top so that uh, we can relieve the pressure from the head for like you know big boosted cars which is a really big issue but that's it for now see you guys 
All right, so what's the spider on my floor right now? So this thing here is the catch cam, pretty much ready to go. Um, I finished all the lines, so the main one going to the, the dash 10, going to the back of the valve cover. This one here going to the PCV, where the fitting's gonna come in. And then finally these two here, which are the front two valve cover ports, which are coming off the front two valve covers there, one going around each way. And each one's gonna go into a custom fitting that's gonna be welded here by my tuner. So that's where we are right now, and the can's basically gonna go off to uh, get those fittings welded in. Uh, I'll give you guys an update next time. All right, guys, so the catch can is finished. I just have to uh, put together a mounting bracket so this can mount to the actual block. It's kind of hanging off the lines right now, but this is essentially it. So let me show you what it, how, what it is. So here we have a fitting that pretty much replaces the PC valve. This is the old PC valve pulled, so the fitting has the same threads as the bottom there. Goes in and allows a dash eight line to connect to it. The dash eight line is coming, and it's essentially going into a dash 10 reducer fitting here, and then going right in there. And then we have the rear big uh, port there, it's a 5 8 port on a rubber hose with an adapter fitting to convert to AN. And then that's coming all the way to a full dash 10 5 8 uh, So it's a dash 10 line going into a dash 10 straight fitting here. Then over here we have one port one and port uh, two right here. So these are these are a really bitch, big bitch to kind of get on because they're really tight hoses and to get it on the plastic fitting was an absolute nightmare. But I got it on, so this one's going that way and coming into my tuner tony at dyna motorsports awesome he welded in two um, dash eight an bungs here for me so that i might just hook up my line here and then the last one obviously coming the other way and going in here and then we have a dash six an line coming out of the bottom and that's going down and right into the oil pan for the drain which you should be able to see right back there so that's done the actual oil catch can is finished just just have to tighten everything for now, I'm going to leave the filter on. I just hope this is going to be okay because we have hood clearance here as one problem. And then I have belt clearance here. As you can see, it's literally sitting on the pulley right now. So this is going to have to pretty much be mounted somewhere higher up, just avoiding the belt, but far enough away from the engine. And then also got to watch out for the rad support because when that, once that goes on, I got to make sure it's not going to hit these lines and stuff that are going this way. So that's going to be a little bit of an interesting mess I got to deal with. And it's not like I can mount it anywhere else because of the considering how... how uh, why how long the lines are and whatnot i can i give myself enough line to pretty much just move it here here a little bit but that's about it so yeah aside from that um don't ever buy an airflow 340 fuel pump it is not meant for the vq cars at all this was an absolute bitch to put in this basket uh, we had to do the wiring ourselves, uh cut the feet off cut half the nozzle off that goes internally here just to get it to fit in here and even then it barely clicked on um, my old Aeromotor 340 pump was much easier to put on. There's so many pumps out there that are much less he headache. So go for one of those. Um, again, this is not a really important pump as it's just meant to feed the surge tank. So it just needs to sort of work. Um, the other thing here that we had on top. So this fitting here I've added to basically connect to my feed line. And then this is essentially going to a return bulkhead fitting that we put right through the stock um basket that's going to dump fuel back in from the surge tank this was a little bit of an interesting thing because i initially had this fitting going that way pointing same way as this one but when you put it inside the tank what was happening was that it was essentially hitting off oh, i need my light one second sorry what was happening was once you put that in there it was the line was going to hit underside of this here so i had to move it towards this way so I can get this fitting on and then have the line kind of curl around and then follow the remainder of the lines up and out back into the uh, back of the car there. So that's what's going on right now and I'll give you guys an update as soon as I can.